Well, we're back here on a Sunday again, and despite the bad weather, we are here to do another edition of the Reno and Doc Show just for you guys. There's my thing. Well, wow, that's a big hand. Good yeah. Good Lord. I say. Wow. Sorry about that. Did I scare you guys? If you're watching this in 3D, I really feel bad for you. What? Like you didn't want to do it. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I think the 3D trend pretty much died out a long time. Yeah, let's get this day HD or whatever. HD. <laughs> I think we are in HD, and that's probably why the views are down so low. Ooh. High def. High def! If any of you are watching this with a hearing problem, we're sorry! All right. So what do we got for our list today? Okay, well, uh, I, good lord. One of these stories, I think, is a follow-up story to one we did some time ago. And, uh, good lord. And, uh, when you see the title of this video, you may understand why it's being called, what it's going to be called. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll think of the title. But, uh, but we got to get to today's sponsor, which is unfortunately a, a, play, a company that's not even here anymore. And it sucks. Um, and uh, this is uh, this is part of the uh, promotional <laughs> prizes that um, th this guy was trying to give out. You know, these little toys to a bunch of kids. See, the thing is, he wanted to try and open up a shop where he's going to sell like live crickets and worms and and chicken livers and things like that. So people go fishing. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you never went there though, but that's okay. And uh, to tell you the truth, I I think there was something. I, I think the first thing that said there was something wrong with this place. Was uh, you know I mean I'll be honest with you the guy kind of seemed like he wanted to be like the number one place in town to do this kind of thing, but I think there was something wrong with the name though. Hmm. Master Bates. Okay. Yeah, and he had a really and he had a slogan that really made me go, oh boy, you're gonna get more trouble. Nobody's gonna beat me. <laughs> Personally, I think the poor guy was cocky, but you know. It, but, Judging you know, by the size, somebody beat him. I guess so. But you know, I, I will admit, you know, he didn't he didn't jack around when it was coming to uh, doing that kind of thing. So you know, so hopefully he'll find a better place to go to, and uh, you know, good luck to him. So you know, I never told you guys' name, did I? No. His name's Richard. Well, actually, it's Richard Jr. and his dad's Richard Senior. But for some reason, they always called him Big Dick and Little Dick. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> what? You know what? Explain it to me in the comments below because I don't know why he's laughing. Big this dick, guy... little dick, I like that. What? Okay, man. Whatever you say, man. Little dick reminds me of someone. That's a cute fish. There's a, there's a shark. I think it's a shark. Well, anyway, what, whatever he's laughing about, if you want to, explain it to me in the comments below because, man, some people just, some people just don't care. If you want to make a good, honest living in this town, he has to make it fun. Anyway. Yeah, right. I don't know. Police in Newton, Massachusetts said a man drove his SUV onto a golf course and got stuck on the sixth hole because his GPS app gave him bad directions. <laughs> the GPS must have been on the period. I thought that was Siri. Does, GP, does GPS give off a female sounding name? Yes. Oh, female sounding name? Oh, okay. Well, I always knew people to, to use Siri, and then, and then they yell at Siri, you know, it's like, like, typical woman, don't know where she's going. You're like, dude, you're yelling at a... At a GPS computer. nowadays has the woman's voice, too. Another typical oh. woman, don't know where she's going. Send all hate mail to... <laughs> no, just leave your hate comments down below, and he'll... I'd be wind up in the middle of this golf course, sir. Didn't have my wife. Go. Don't, don't be driving that to wife. A truck hauling tomatoes crashed on an England highway, spilling the tomatoes everywhere. It was said that it looked like something out of a horror movie. Something out of a horror movie, yeah. Okay. I imagine the killer tomatoes in those killer tomatoes movies were very upset. They sued them. <laughs> Everybody's suing everybody for something nowadays. Well, you got Jared, and you know, he's got, now he's got Walmart shopping cart suing him for rape. The guy not only raped Subway Sandwiches, she's raping Walmart's uh, carts now. And recently, somebody's uh, Lamborghini is testifying against him for sexual assault. 
for leaving his dick skin behind on there and his special marinara sauce. There's dick skin marinara sauce all over the tailpipe of the car. And a few golf, uh, shop carts at Walmart. One of the uh, shop carts said it might have AIDS. No one said it might be pregnant. Can, can, can I continue? Yeah, you can continue. Well, actually, it's going to get a whole lot worse than what he said. Uh, security cameras, uh, security camera footage, I should say, got a 17-year-old girl shoving a mother bear off a, off a brick wall to rescue her, uh, to rescue her family's dogs. Okay. Heroic, I guess. Heroic, but, but well, heroic. But here in about a minute, you're gonna hear some stupid kid stories. I'll save you, Patches. A replica of Noah's Ark is currently stuck in Ipswich for not having paperwork to say it's seaworthy. I'm okay. This is getting, getting kind of dumb here. I mean, no offense, but I mean, I, I, I thought they were getting stupid with laws here in America, but Ipcock is getting bad laws too. Ip switch. Ipcock. Doesn't sound like somebody we know. Who the hell would that be? Which one? The one that likes to. Involving himself in everybody else's stories and claiming you, you whooped two or three hundred bikers all by himself, or <laughs> or the other one that likes to tell us about people that you sometimes wonder about. Uh, well, believe me, as these stories go on, you're yeah. And uh, so, yeah, here's here's part one of a stupid kid story. A 13 year old girl from Portland, Oregon, was hospitalized after a TikTok stunt went wrong. When she tried to set herself on fire! Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Hello, stupid. <laughs> What's your name? What's your last name? Pice. Pice? Where, where Pice come from? I can't hardly talk from being burnt. <laughs> that makes sense. We're going to call her the barbecue girl. <laughs> obviously, she, obviously, she was half middle. Kind of she had me. to be half retardo. Kind of reminds me again of when uh, Richard Pryor was talking about how he uh, how he got set on fire due to a, due to a drug stunt gone wrong. And he's, he's talking about, you know, just one of his fans comes in and you know, he's got smoke coming off and goes, Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you go out there and just check it on the girl. sounds like that girl was half retarded. You go in there and check on that girl. Like, Is this a girl yet? Hey, how you doing there, sweetheart? <laughs> kind of stinks there's, there, don't you think? There's yeah. no smoking in the hospital. <laughs> You don't smoke in a hospital. That's illegal. Oh, boy. I'm going to leave the guy's name out, but, uh, yeah. A guy from Wales has been given the nickname Sample after he mistakenly turned in a, uh, Siemens, uh, a semen sample instead of a urine sample to try to get a job. <laughs> you got to give the guy's name. William. Mm -hmm. Steve. The guy's name is Steve? For real? Buddy, I know you're desperate, but damn. I didn't say it. How desperate can you be? You're that lonely? He, he was supposed to be getting a job and he accidentally turned in a semen sample. You cannot turn in a semen sample at Tyson's chicken plant to try to get a job. Not unless you're going to date one of the chickens. You never know. Well, it happened in Wales, so... What are you doing up in Wales, buddy? <laughs> a woman on TikTok shared a video of a, of a voicemail she had gotten from her stepdad back in 2012, months after he died. Okay. Yeah. Right. Apparently the voicemail kept saying over and over and over again, guess who, guess who. And it's supposed to be him from the afterlife. Sounds like somebody I know.
Seems like the afterlife is doing a lot of talking lately. I know. But nobody from the afterlife wants to talk to us for some reason. All they ever do is text me and say I'm dead. And I'm like, how's that? How's that going for you? Usually the response back is, oh, not that great. <laughs> a Russian stuntman duct taped himself to the side of a helicopter, but the pilot gets suspended for it. Well, what are you doing? Taking off. What the hell are you doing on the side of my copter? How are you hanging on over there? Duct taped. I'm duct taped on. Don't you going to land sometime today? No, dumbass. You duct taped yourself to the copter. I'm going to keep flying. You're suspended. What the fuck? <laughs> And I thought Americans had bad laws. Now Russia does. I know, I know. That's, 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 that, that, that. Russia, stop trying to copy Americans. Dumbass laws are not a good idea. I mean, that, that would be like you driving your car and somebody decides that they want to tie themselves down to the roof of your car. Tell me that Putin ain't going to sniff your children like the idiot we got as a president. <laughs> or get confused like that moron. Uh... Here's, here's a weird story. An 11-year-old piano player in Thailand wears an alligator costume to perform, to perform for lemurs every week at the local zoo. Okay. Yeah. They won't eat me. I got alligator skin on. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't really come up with none of that one. I don't know. That was, that was a tough one for me, too, you know. But, I mean, why an alligator suit? Why not a crocodile? I mean, it beats me. And finally, the follow-up story, because I, I think we did this one before. A bodybuilder who married two sex dolls has said that he's open to a relationship with a real woman. As long as they're cool with him having his sex dolls. I don't remember that being happened, doing that before, but holy shit. Well, honey, I, I don't mind being with you, but you just gotta accept my other women. They're dolls. They're plastic. There are my other women! Listen, dude, you don't understand. They're plastic dolls. They're my women! Okay. <coughs> Is he from Bogle? No, he's from somewhere in the UK. You're lying, he's from Bogle. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta be. Anybody that fucking stupid. My woman is Bearcat 1 and Bearcat 2. They're both Bearcats! Group sex ever. Oh, bear cat! Oh, bear cat! Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ever happened? That'd be the time this, this this town would have to be burned. Yeah, because any. I mean, it does sound like some moron from here. I'm sorry. You say some UK is probably from here. I mean, any man who who has sex with a woman and she starts just going meow meow meow, that's when you just gotta go meow 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 meow. That's pretty much when you gotta go. I'm 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 gone. I'm done. Have fun. Shit. Fuck it. I'm out. Still in line for somebody else. I'm out. I'm out. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition. Please subscribe to Reno Vega, his other channel, Reno Wheat, my channel, Doctor Metal Freak. Plus SJP and Sand Creek Forever and, and this let's get him 400 subscribers. My arena week, my arena Vega to two, my arena week to one. 200, you mean? Yeah, two, 100, for <laughs> 200 for the arena week, 200 for the arena Vega, 400 for him, that and was... SJP up to four, <laughs> and Sand so Creek sad. Forever up to two. Uh, and this week, and buddy, I saw it on Facebook. I don't know what you're depressed about. Uh. Do the best you can to get over it. And do me a favor. Quit letting everybody else know about it. Well, if you're not going to tell everybody what it is, why put it on Facebook? And that goes for the rest of you. Why put shit on Facebook about how you're hurt, how you're pissed, or whatever in the hell, and then not tell anybody about it? It's like you got to expect them to sit there and fucking ask. My advice, keep it to yourself. Hopefully, get over it. Can I do the bonus shout outs yeah. this week? Thank you. This week's bonus shout outs, please go subscribe to these guys too as well. Uh, Betty Price and Drive In Movie Maniacs. That's going to do it for this one. Uh, leave your thoughts down below what you think was the. What, what, was, what was the one story in this one that made you just kind of just have the weirdest reaction? Gotta be the dolls. 
Yeah, I would have to say so. Yeah, it's got to be a dog. It's got to be. I swear to God, it, you know, if somebody out there goes, there ain't nothing wrong with what he's doing, I'm going to say, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I wouldn't even respond. I just I just leave that comment right there. Just like, Well, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think of today's show. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace. And uh, I think... Well, he, he may have some try videos coming up this week. Hopefully, maybe on both channels. He's got a snack cake he wants to try. and We'll see what else we can do. They'll be coming up later on. This week. This week, yeah. yeah. What about you? You got and, any coming up? Uh, I, got, I got a drink video to do this week on my channel. and uh, I can get you to try a drink. I've already tried the video. The one, the juice. Yeah. I'll, I'll get you to try that. I'll try that one of these days. At least to go on a video. I'll try it. Man. Pushing for it. Comment below. Pushing to do it. Get my get my channel of five thousand subscribers and I'll do it. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> All right, guys, peace out. We'll see y'all next time.